All right, we are back. We are back. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, so this already look actually looks pretty good. So all right, that's good. Uh, I'm probably not. I'm oh max deposit three hundred. Interesting. Okay, so they're actually limiting things. So I'm already pretty happy with the farmhouse. Uh, but just from looking at oh why I just I thought I connected. So I'm already looking at it, and you know I actually already like this. It's uh, in fact I think it has stricter taxes than even the farmhouse. Uh, I'm still not going to invest in this project because it's too new, and right now there's a limit of apparently just 300 for a deposit because obviously they probably just launched. And yeah, they have that same standard BS. I mean it's funny everyone thinks that actually works, but it really doesn't. At least, I, at least that's what I believe. All right, that's why I, I actually wound up playing a little bit more into uh, B and B cherries. All right, and that's on the playlist now. Because again, you know me, I like B and B. All right, that's my home chain. So, so anyway, with that being said, this actually came from Murdoch DeFi. So, so that's good. All right, more content ideas. So right off the bat, I like the graphics. They uh, and I actually read the comments because this looks like this looks exactly like Grape Finance. So it just turns out that these graphics, at least the 8-bit uh, grape stuff here, is actually royalty free. So everyone uses the same thing. So from what I can tell, they are actually not related to Grape Finance. They just simply r rated the same royalty free artwork, which which I'm okay with. You know, I like the simplistic. Uh, nature of these and I'll tell you that I don't mind 8-bit graphics right I put you know I don't play games like that but uh, but I don't mind watching it I mean it reminds me of my childhood so you know it's totally doable all right so I think at the time Murdoch DeFi recorded his video I already closed it out I think yeah I think I had like 181 or 182,000 polygon in there in the contract but that's fine uh, what really matters is really just this. I'll just keep this video short, especially because I'm not investing in this. So it's obviously a very new project. I don't care when it came out. It's obviously just new. and Or this might actually be permanent. Maybe you can only put 300 Matic at any time. So that's kind of interesting. There's a deposit fee of 8, and there's an insurance fee of 8. So I think when you sell, they take 8%. And then the insurance policy, I assume, is either the developer fee or it goes back into like putting more money back into here to keep it sustainable. All right, fine, whatever. I don't really care. It's an 8% tax, right? So the gap is technically 0%. So this theoretically should be a very sustainable project. So, so let's say the farmhouse were to fail, I would probably do Vineyard. Now, it does suck that I only can put in 300 polygons, so... I don't know, like, can I, can I just do, like, 300 Matic, like, 10 times in a row? So, I'll, like, if I had 3,000 Polygon, would I have to do this 10, can I do that? That's one thing I would, uh, I, w I would be curious. How did this thing already not... Yeah, they were having trouble with the contract display website yesterday, so it always shows zero Polygon. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> rug pull? Right, even though it's supposed to be a renounced contract. Yeah, so this only went down like 11,000 polygons. So this thing is still like way ahead of the curve. So, you know, not a problem. All right, well, I don't really have much more to say about it aside from this looks extremely uh, sustainable. Uh, it's got all the stats that I personally like. Uh, I'll learn to live with this max deposit, especially if you can just get around it by just simply doing multiple transactions and obviously it could only be 300 at a time so that I you would have to figure out on your own um, decent number on the matter on DAP radar so they're doing pretty well so the farmhouse is number one and the vineyard miner which is these guys is number two so and of course they're considered high risk that's I like that uh, they're pretty good with marketing and they've been around since March 30th so, see, these guys have actually been around for a while, and they still continue to do marketing. So, that's the insurance fund hard at work. 18,309. So, these guys have actually been growing like crazy. So, this is actually a really good project. Um, I don't know. I don't have so many fucking windows open. I'm pretty happy with the farmhouse. But, 
I will add this project to the playlist if the farmhouse were to ever go down. But for now, I mean, I'm already... How much does the farmhouse pay? I think it was 7%, right? Yeah, 7%. But there's only 2% tax, so I keep more of my money. So, yeah, I'm, I'm personally going to stick with this. But obviously, if I see that the farmhouse keeps dropping like crazy... Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna start moving into the vineyard. I'll add it. Uh, I'll add this to the playlist. So I'm personally not gonna invest in it, but I'll, read, I'll leave a nice note in the description saying this is actually this looks this already looks good. I, I thought this just launched, but apparently based on their Twitter, they've been around since at least March 30th, and they start with a much lower amount of Polygon. So there's so this max deposit thing is definitely part of the reason why this thing is very sustainable. So it's actually possible that you can only have 300 Matic in this uh, ever. And that the only way to go beyond this is to actually compound. That's a very interesting. That's a very interesting concept. Very interesting. And of course, massive taxes. Uh, so very, very solid. All right. Obviously, I want to make a lot of money. So 300 is too small for me. It's like, it's like 300 and... I'm oh, just Polygon right now. It's like $1.40, right? Yeah, $1.41. That's like... A little less than four hundred and forty dollars. Uh, what am I gonna do with that? I, I don't. Can I even buy lunch here in New York City with that? Yeah. Well, whatever. Either way, very very solid project. Okay. I want to keep this very very short. I'm actually I want to do stuff. I actually want to go out today. It's very bright sunny. Yeah. I need a walk. So hey, check this out. I will add this to the playlist if I need a backup, right? Backup miner. Other than that, this looks really good. So, and, and they're very good at marketing because I constantly see their, you know, Twitter, you know, shouting out YouTubers and stuff. So, works for me, works for me. And, you know, maybe, I mean, you, can always, you always have to assume that there are some fake followers in here, but, you know, number two on this thing, uh, whatever, what was it called? DAP Radar? That's a, that, that has a lot of people there, so yeah, I think a lot, of these, a lot of these people here are real. The followers. Works for me. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. It will be Phi Rise Miners Metaverse Land mixed with Baked Beans Fork. So I'm going to have to actually do a little research on that, probably. Alright, see you in the next video. Thanks. Like, subscribe, share this video, grow the channel. Again, thank you to all the new people uh, that are joining. We're, you know, we're just going to keep growing and getting richer. Uh, so... Thanks.